there was a man named Lennon. He was joined by less than three dozen other people. And these uh, exiles were on their way to Russia from Switzerland in a sealed train, quote unquote, so called. Oh. And they were trying to, well, they were going to try to seize power, I mean, Lenin was, from the government. And uh, this was uh, to declare a dictatorship of the proletariat. This was uh, a phrase adopted by Marx and Engels, the founders of Marxism. So these revolutionaries were on a sealed train. And they boarded that train in Zurich, Switzerland. And they rode for 17 hours by rail. Uh, well, actually longer than that. And where were they headed? To Petrograd. It was, I think it was called Petersburg then. And uh, I'm sorry, I, have, I think I have that just exactly wrong. Uh, the uh, city, whatever, whatever you want to call it, Petersburg, Petrograd, that's where eight days later he would show up. And, you know, this was not very long ago. Yeah. 1917, I think. And this guy was going to be dead in 1923 or so. He had three strokes he lost his ability to speak. The Bible says that you and I were on a steel train. And at the end of the line, when we get off that train, it's appointed unto men once to die, and then the judgment. And he was not able to confess with his mouth and believe in his heart in Moshiach ben Dovid, that God raised him from the dead as our goal redeemer who made the Pesach Korban to get us out of bondage, to get us out of Egypt, all the way to the promised land, the land of milk and honey, a picture of heaven, of Gan Eden. And in the original Gan Eden, there was a godless, a godless seizure of power, which is what Lenin wanted to do, which is what happened in the beginning, which brought death into the world. No, you will not die. Hath God said, all you have to do is listen to the devil and do your own thing, whatever you want to do. After all, don't you have the knowledge of good and evil? Don't you have moral autonomy? Can't you do what you want? Why do you have to live by every word to proceed from the mouth of God? And, you know, at the end of the line, this man was going to lose his soul. He experienced partial paralysis on his right side. He began to exhibit sensory aphasia. He couldn't speak. There was Stalin waiting in the wings. And today we have Putin threatening the whole world with nuclear holocaust. And all of this was on that SEAL train headed from Zurich to Russia. And you know what? If God had not called me 
if he had not had mercy on me, if he had not heard my mother's prayers, if he had not sent the Holy Spirit to convict me, to show me the judgment that my life was headed toward, to bring me to contrition, to a contrite spirit, to turn away from my old life and give my life to God, to let him do with it what he wants and begin to read the Bible and find out what God wanted from my life and from me. If I had not been saved from that closed train, that sealed train, the train to hell, then that's where I would be today, I'm sure. Because it says in the scriptures, whoever has not believed is condemned already. That means you're already on a sealed train to hell. You're already under condemnation. You're already lost. You're already in a state where in a godless seizure of power, you have turned aside from the holy scriptures. You've broken the Aseris Hadebros. In your heart, there is a wicked thing going on and you need salvation. You need to find out what the Basuras Hage Olah really is. You need to understand how God can save you, what his saving message really is. And you need to get deliverance from the evil despot on that train, which is your old, your old nature. In my flesh, there is no good thing. And on that sealed train was a man named Lennon. And in Lennon, there was no good thing. You might say, oh, no, he loved, he loved dogs. In fact, one of his last words, if not his last words, uh, he addressed to a dog who came to him with a dead bird. Well, Hitler loved his dog too. But uh, if you are lost, you need a savior. And the world is a lost world. And there is no one who can save us but the Devar Hashem, the Chokmah who was with God. God always possessed his word. Hashem, Hot, Mik, Far, Mokt. Hashem possessed me, Far, Mokt, in the Rashid of his Derek before his works of old. We're talking about the owner, the Farmoger, the Yiddish word for the one who is the possessor of heaven and earth, the owner of everything, even your inmost being, the one who wants to redeem what he owned, but what has been forfeited. And he is the owner of the promised land. He's the owner of Eretz Yisrael. And he is the rightful owner of your soul. But your soul has been forfeited. All we like sheep have gone astray. We've all gone our own way. To redeem us, the Lord has laid upon him the iniquity of us all. He is our redeemer who can purchase back what God possessed, but what has been forfeited. And I thank God that in a world that is lost, a world that is on the linen sealed train to Russia, the sealed train of Vladimir Putin, the sealed train 
that leads ultimately to Armageddon and the destruction of this world and a new heaven and a new earth where righteousness dwells. I thank God that we can reach out to the possessor of heaven and earth and give him our life back and say, Lord, please forgive me of my sins. Redeem my lost life. I have ruined it. I need to give it back to you. I need to let you do something with it. I have wrecked this thing. My life is a wreck. And I need to let you have the driver's seat. You are the Lord. And you sent your word, your Amon, your craftsman at your side, the Bar Enosh at the side of the Atik Yamin. You sent him in the womb of Ha'alma Virgin to save me. And that he came as a ransom for many, and he has ransomed my soul from destruction. And we don't know that, that Vladimir Putin was redeemed because his religion was an atheistic, communist uh, religion of a false prophet named Karl Marx. And many people are still enamored with that, even though the blood of millions is on these people. And Lenin was as wicked in many ways as Stalin. And now Putin is as wicked as either one of them. But, oh, God, we thank you that there's hope if we will turn to you. And that's what we need to do. I can't do anything about Putin tonight, but I can do something about me. Would you pray with me right now? Would you say, God? Have mercy on me, a sinner. I realize that my life belongs to you. And with a godless seizure of power, I've gone my own way. And I need to turn around and come back to you and give the life that you possess, that you own, that you are the owner of, give it back to you. It was paid for by the blood of the Pesach lamb who went to the slaughter Isaiah 53, 7, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Mashiach ben David, come into my heart, forgive my sins, take control of my life, and I will serve you. And everybody said, Amen.